Now, hi Aquarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I have pre-shuffled these three decks for you. This is intended to be a weekly reading for October 2nd to October 8th for the sign of Aquarius. Now this may or not, may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. What do you have for Aquarius? We are going to go with that. Ooh. This is my uh, Gateway to the Divine Tarot deck. The next deck is my Hermetic deck that I am going to use. And then I'm going to use the Whispers of Love. I am trying to learn how to do live readings. So if you happen to see one, please bear with me. I don't typically do those. I usually send private links. The basis of your reading is the High Priest. That is about guidance. Some of you may be seeking guidance this week. You may be uh, seeking counseling or um, spiritual counseling or even inner guidance, okay? You really need to listen to your inner guidance this time no matter what. That is the basis of your reading. I am going to zoom that in for you before I forget. I think that a lot of you are seeking knowledge right now. You probably are trying to figure out what the hell is going on about a situation. Um, maybe you're feeling like you're cheated. You've been cheated or lied to this week or, or something like that. We do have you moving to a more peaceful spot, but it feels like maybe you want to move away. Maybe you want to move to a more peaceful spot because you've been deceived. You know, and that's where you're seeking the guidance because you just need to get out of this situation. It looks like maybe you're, you've been rejected or you're rejecting someone, all right? Um, there is some rejection here. And there's a rejection to love. There's a rejection... I need to slow down. There's a rejection to emotional support. Perhaps you're not getting the communication that you were hoping for from somebody. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Or it could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, could be a Taurus. We do have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio a couple times. We do have Sagittarius a couple times. All right. I see that you just you're not happy with the situation. I I think that some of you are not getting the attention that you wished for, and you may be feeling um, grief, or you may be feeling rejected, or it could be vice versa. You may not giving somebody attention, and they're really desiring that from you um so it could go either way there is some there is a love here though for some of you and some of you just feel like and you're like fighting it for some reason okay maybe you there's a need to escape from a situation or you're just faking a situation faking um a feeling a feeling of love like or a feeling of attraction or a feeling of um a care, you know, like you care for something that you really don't care about. Maybe it, there's some um, faking here. I do see that you're about to start a new journey or you're thinking about starting a new, new journey, a whole new phase of your life. Maybe you just want to let something go completely. You feel like walking away. It's like, you know what, I just want to escape and get out of here for a little while. Um, that's what it looks like to me. I think a lot of you are looking to um, get away perhaps you had these expectations that just did not come to fruition the way you had hoped. And you'd put a lot of time into it. And you really, really um, gave it your all. I think that you have given something your all. And it just hasn't, you haven't gotten the uh, attention that you were expecting. And you're ready to walk away. And right now you're seeking guidance from either a counselor or above that will just give you the answer. You know, how am I going to get out of this? How am I going to get out of here? How can I get through this? Please tell me. Please help me. You know, and I think that one of the answers is, is to remember who you are with that Empress card. You have a beautiful soul. Do not forget it. It is a time you have the ability to start fresh. Okay, you have the um 
ability to renew yourself, okay? Because this is a rebirth, all right? To, it's a person who decides that they are going to start over and they're going to start fresh, okay? They're going to build something new because something else didn't work out, and that's what I see. So you are only deceiving yourself by not listening to your inner guide, all right? I think that you're trying... There's... This air, three of pentacles also means um, the angels are around you, okay? Angelic guidance. So you may be getting messages that you're ignoring, and you could be only deceiving yourself. And it's, I'm just saying. Anyway. <clears throat> this is for Aquarius. I think that you're feeling very defensive this week. Perhaps, um... Jeez, the cards are just a flipping out. You're feeling very defensive because you you you're looking for the answers and you want them now. <laughs> That's what I see. It's like I want the answers and I want them now. I'm sick of waiting and I'm gonna get the hell out of here and you need to tell me what this is because I'm not playing games with you. Okay, so I mean that's what I feel. I feel like you're you're ready to be forceful because you want some answers. You know there's something that you've been waiting for something. You've been waiting for, attention, for some kind of attention that you're not getting. And you're about to take action because you're, you're sick of it. And you feel like you've been rejected. Four of Swords. There's been a lot of strife. There has. We have Aries here. This is the Seven of Cups. Temperance, again, there could be some overindulgences in your life, a need for um, moderation. Like I said, the need to escape, to remove yourself from a situation. I feel like you are ready to get the hell out. You're ready to remove yourself from a situation because you don't, just don't want to be a part of it anymore. We have the universe, which is the, actually the world card, and you have it twice. When the world card comes out, it says a new chapter is right ahead of you. A lot of you could be moving. We have moving here and we have moving here. So some of you could be buying a new house or you could be moving, period. You could even be renting, but I see you could move, be moving home or upgrading your house. Um, either way, there's, there's a lot of uh, new growth here. It looks like a lot of you have learned something really big in the past few months and it's about time to start something new, all right? I think you're putting yourself in the driver's seat. You're taking the lead. You're not sitting back. You're trying to control the situation. You're remaining in control of the situation. Because, or you haven't been, but I think this week you're about to because you're ready to run. You're ready, you're ready to run. That's what it looks like to me because you know what? I can't do this anymore. I have to take the lead because the other person isn't going to. So you haven't been getting the attention that you desire. It could be at work or it could be in a relationship. And I think that you're ready to escape from it, all right? Because there's been too much strife, all right? And it looks like there could be some moving involved, moving physically or moving like up a ladder, all right? Or moving to a more stable spot in your life because you take charge, because you take control, you put yourself in the driver's seat, you take the lead, you bring back the structure. It's like, you know what? If you're not going to do anything about it, I am. So that's what I see. I just see that you're moving to a more peaceful spot, period, because you're putting yourself in charge. Okay, and it looks like it's a very good move because we have the world twice. When you do that, you've learned something big. All right, and you've reached a finish line and you can celebrate your success because you took charge and your new chapter starts. There's no more waiting around for this attention that you have not been getting or this recognition you know, perhaps if this is job related or work related, perhaps you haven't been being recognized for your hard work. There's been a lot of conflict and strife and you're just like, you know what? I need to get the hell away from this shit. It's killing me. 
We do have the Seven of Cups up here, right here. This is um, fake success, all right? Um, again, the Seven of Cups means what owns, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you purchase. Be careful what you focus your energy on because what you own owns you. Okay, what you own owns you. Be careful, think twice. At all times during this week, think twice about your choices because if you are not thinking twice, you may, may, might make an impulsive choice that you will regret, regret, okay? Be sure to ask your inner guide before you make any choices. Seriously, be careful. All right. Your main message this week is seeking guidance with this Hierophant, which is also the sign of Taurus. I see that a lot of you are seeking the answers, whether it be from a counselor, from your inner guide, or from above. You are looking for the answers and you want them now. And I think that you are about to put yourself in charge and say, you know what? I haven't been getting what I want. I'm moving on. Because there's been too much strife. Appreciate this moment. Somebody else got this too. It's all meant to be. It's all destiny with this world card. When the world card comes out, it means that this was meant to be. Okay? And you have it twice. <laughs> this attention that you haven't been getting, that, or that you haven't been giving, this missed opportunity, whoever hasn't been giving you what you need, believe it, This temp the temperance is also about purpose. Everything happens for a reason. You have temperance twice. Everything happens for a reason. There are no coincidence, coincidences. Remember that, okay? You have the temperance twice. Perhaps it's time for you to heal. Perhaps it's time for you to bring the peace back. Maybe it really is time for you to escape. Maybe it is time for you to relax. Maybe it is time for you to take a rest. Appreciate this moment. Number 33. I have to tell you, I told the other sign this too. 33. 333, three, three, when you see threes in unison. Your prayers have been heard. Remove all that no longer serves you. Okay? Remove all that no longer serves you. That's part of the threes. Okay? I made up this chart a long time ago that I investigated. I didn't copy it from anybody with my numerology. So, remove all that no longer serves you. Appreciate this moment, 33. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Sometimes there are circumstances that seem challenging and don't make any sense at the time, which is absolutely the truth for you. It is important that you face what is happening so you can learn the lessons that are being taught here. Like I told you, everything happens for a reason. There's major lessons that have been learned. Whatever comes to mind with this reading, it was a lesson. And a peace is coming. The outcome is the Six of uh, Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. That's the outcome. It means that you're moving to a more peaceful spot. This was a lesson that you had to learn. Okay? It was. Ask the angels to show you what is important in this moment. Remember I told you the basis of your reading was guidance? And I mentioned angels, angelic guidance earlier in the reading. Ask your angels to show you what is important in this moment. Do it. That's your message. It is. That's what I got for you, Aquarius. Thanks for watching and thank you for your patience and I will see you next time.